Inside this heart painted on the sidewalk is her name. Jordan was a rambunctious little girl, like to laugh, play your average kid stuff. Um, had siblings, she was the baby, so of course everybody was crazy about her. Jordan Rich would have turned two in May. She died Monday after being hit by a van on a busy East Preston street. She stepped off the curb in between two cars and it was a van coming, so he sat kind of high. The van sat kind of high, so he honestly didn't see her. Family members say the little girl's mother tried to save her. So by the time she stepped out in the street and her mother grabbed her, by the time her mother grabbed her, the van hit her, because her mother had her. Her mother had her in her arms, but when the van hit the mother, the impact, her arms let go, and my niece went under the van. Kenya Mackey says people at the funeral home across the street came to help. So about three or four people came out the funeral home and actually lift the van up off of her, off of Jordan, to get her from underneath. The van driver remained at the scene. The whole time he sat in the van, he never looked left, he never looked right. He was in shock. The police crash team returned to the scene as their investigation continues. Also here, part of the city trauma team. I pray that everyone that hears this, uh, pray for not only the family, but pray for the driver. Uh, because he was very distraught when I talked to him. Jordan was outside on the sidewalk with her family where they normally have celebrations or just gather to talk. These houses have no backyard, none. Once you step out into the backyard, you probably got a square, big as these steps, and that's it. So we're always out front. Now they gather in grief. And even in a neighborhood with like the shootings and the crime, we still manage to duck all that. But I guess they say it's only a matter of time before Tragedy knocks on your door, so I guess it was our time. The trauma response team is trying to help fam the family get counseling for Jordan's siblings, who, as you can imagine, are distraught. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.